Hey housing guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put cryptocurrency data in Google Sheets. Alright, so before we dive into the tutorial, I'll be using CoinMarketCap's API to pull the crypto data. Alright, so first we need to uh, sign up for account. And you can go to pro.coinmarketcap.com slash login. And I'll post all the links in the description below. Alright, so here I'm going to click on get an API key now. Then simply follow the instruction to uh, sign up for account. Now here with different uh, tiers. Now based on your use case, you may need to sign up for a more premium uh, subscription. All right, so here, uh, let's do this. I'm going to create the account first. All right, so here, let's go to the prices page. Now from coin market caps uh, website, we have four different tiers, basic, hobbyist, startup, and standard. And there's one more tier called enterprise, which I don't see you ever uh, use that tier. I'll be using the uh, basic, which is the free tier. Now, from coin market caps API, the free tiers basically will allow you to put the, just the uh, basic crypto data. Now, if we need to access uh, other information, such as the historical price, in that case, you may need to sign up for the hobbyist uh, tier. But for most of the use cases, I think the free tier should be uh, sufficient. Now let me go back to my account. All right, so here I want to uh, cover the uh, usage. So every month, you get 10,000 of credit to use. That means that every day you have 333 credits to use, which is more than enough for uh, personal usage. All right, so here I'm going to create a brand new Google Sheets. And I named the uh, Google Sheets. Let's do crypto. Let's just do coin market cap demo. Now here we need to, uh, here let me paste the link first. All right, so I create uh, this uh, app scripts in which you can uh, grab the source code from the link in the description below. All right, so first I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets. Now I'll click on the extensions menu, then click on apps script. Now I want to copy uh, this source code here from my website. And we'll simply copy paste the source code to this uh, code.js script. Now here I'm going to rename the project. You can name this anything you want. And I'll name this as Coin Market Cap Demo Project. And make sure that you save the script. Now going back to my account. So here I need to grab the API key. So I'm going to click on Copy Key. Now going back to the App Scripts page. Now inside the script, we want to go to the top and want to paste the API key to this uh, API key variable. I'm going to highlight this uh, string here. Then I'm going to paste my API key and save the project. All right, so that's everything you need to do uh, to create the app scripts. Now going back to Google Sheets. Now this one I want to cover under this uh, prime section. Now the maximum uh, batch size is 5,000 items uh, per API code. Now if you want to retrieve more than 5,000 items, in that case, you need to uh, set the start value to uh, 5,000. That means that how many items you want to skip. Then we'll change the limit to 5,000. But just be aware of that, if you increase the limit, uh, it's also going to increase the uh, token consumed when you make the API code. Now, if I invest in crypto, in general, you only need to uh, extra maybe 500 to 1,000 crypto at a time to analyze the coins. All right, so let me uh, put that back. So I'll make that, let's do uh, 100 because it's going to make the app run a lot faster. All right, save the project. Now, this is everything that you need to do. And you don't need to know how the uh, app script works. Now, going back to the Google Sheets. Now click on extensions, then go to macros. 
Now he wants to import a macro. Right, so here you should see two functions. You want to add the second function, the insert crypto data function uh, to the macros list. Right, so going back to extensions. Now here, if we go to macros, you should see the insert crypto data function is not available. Now click on the function. Now for the first time, the script is going to ask you to authorize the permission. Click on continue. And simply uh, just grant the permission. Now on this page, you want to click on events. Then you want to click on this link to proceed. And here grant the permission to uh, the app. So the first time is basically granting the permission uh, to the application. Now going forward, if you run the insert crypto data function, and it's going to import the first 100 cryptocurrencies from CoinMarket's website. Now at this point, you can uh, use this data however you want. You can analyze the data. Uh, you can uh, make a chart visualization, anything you want. Now in case you want to refresh the data set uh, every day or uh, every hour, you want to go back to the app scripts uh, page. Now on the left side, you want to click on this uh, clock icon. Then click on triggers. Now here you want to click on add trigger. And from the select event source, you want to change that to time driven. Now here you can schedule uh, the interval uh, how often you want to run the uh, app script. You can set the interval as hourly, daily, weekly, or even monthly. Now for demonstration purpose, I'm going to set that to uh, weekly. And here you can set the day of week, as well as the time of the day that you want to execute the script. And just be aware of that, the time zone is based on GMT time. And save the setting, and you're done. Right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys find this video useful. And if you have any question, feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.